After nearly two years of debate and planning, the sale of the Robert E. Lee building is just steps away. But many are worried the current tenants will be displaced once construction begins. Mr. McClung does not necessarily want his residents to go out and find new housing because he's going to lose revenue. And unless he's got an ironclad contract, he doesn't want that. Many of the tenants are older and low income. Others are disabled, making the R.E. Lee building an ideal downtown housing option for them. I know what they're doing to make more money by selling the building and making it into a motel, but they got these people in here that don't get much money. The city has contacted Rockbridge Area Rental Assistance to develop a plan for the relocation of current tenants. If the sale goes through, we'd like to let them know that it has gone through um, and, and explain the kinds of things that are out there available for them. Some tenants are taking matters into their own hands and are already seeking alternative housing. We've got an application uh, for uh, Windermere Apartments over on Wallace Street and that looks very promising. As of now, residents have been told the building has not been sold and they should not worry about their housing situation. The tenants there have already been on an emotional roller coaster for over maybe two years now with not knowing if the building would be sold. If and when the sale of the Robert E. Lee building is finalized, tenants will have six months to find an alternative living situation with help from the Rockbridge Area Rental Assistance and the Lexington City Council. For the Rockbridge Report, I'm Kirsten Kine.